Creating a value set. A value set is a list of appropriate sizes for a particular block. So, for example, windows only come in certain sizes. So let's say this manufacturer model only comes in like sizes 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60 inches long. We can limit the block to only using those sizes. So, we want to create a parameter. If we go up into parameters, we want to create a linear parameter first. And so in the linear parameter, we have down on the command line a value set. And we want to type in V for value set. We can do an incremental one, say it, uh, they come in every six inches, and we can have a minimum and maximum size, or we could list them. And in our case, we're going to do L for list. And we're going to type in all the values of what we are acceptable with a comma in between. So I'm doing 36, 42, comma, 48, comma, 54, comma, and 60. And then I can hit enter. And now I'm going to pick my start point. Be down here at the end point and my other end point and I can set my label location. I can actually pick on my properties and I come down here and let's say uh, change this name to window sizes. Okay, And I can close that. And you can see them faintly here. Um, there's one right here, one here, here, and here showing up. Next, what we need to do is once we've done that, we need to assign an action to this parameter. And for this one, we want to be able to stretch it. So we go to Actions, and we go to Stretch. And now we select the parameter, which is this one right here. And then it says Specify uh, point uh, to associate with the action and we're going to pick on this one over here and we select it and then we do the same procedure as the stretch action uh, assigning a stretch action and we're going to go to picking the first corner of the stretch frame so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick and I'm going to come down here and and pick right here. Next, um, we're going to select objects to stretch, and I'm going to pick these objects right here. I'm going to hit enter, and now I can save and test my block, and then I can use it dynamically.